Obsidian is a powerful note-taking application. It's been on the market for some time, but is growing in popularity. It's free, minimal, great for writers, researchers, students, and everyone in between. It is a real good all-rounder, but there are some alternatives. I want to share with you some free and paid Obsidian alternatives that are well worth your consideration in today's video. All of them will be linked below, but if you want to deepen your search, you can go over to toolfinder.co to explore loads more note-taking apps. You can also download a free guide to note-taking apps and how to pick the best one for you, which will be linked below as well. And do subscribe while you're there. So when looking for Obsidian alternatives, I wanted to get something that's similar or something that does differ in a lot of ways. So some of these do have things like AI features, um, expands on things like whiteboard functionality that go a little bit deeper than what Obsidian does because you're obviously looking for something different to Obsidian or considering something different. So it's important to give you something different with good options that are similar as well at the same time. So that being said, the first app on my list is Logseek. Now, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it, but it's become incredibly popular. It's a very community-driven application, and it is almost the best like-for-like -like Obsidian alternative on the market. Now, it's not as polished and finished off, in my opinion, as Obsidian, but it will help you to create notes, link them up, and view them in a graph view. It also has, like Obsidian, a whiteboard style feature, which is called whiteboards, not canvas, which can help you bring your ideas to life and see how your notes visualize. And for those students and researchers, it's got something that Obsidian doesn't have as part of its native application, which is flashcards. Now inside of LogSeq, you can basically turn any of your notes into flashcards, meaning you can study with them and using systems like Active Recall, which a lot of students tend to find to help them to revise and study better. So if you're a student, you may like that approach. Now the application is free and there's no indication of pricing out there. Um, they have a, a good focus on security, but largely the application, it doesn't have pricing yet, which is sort of a bit of a worry, but Obsidian doesn't really have pricing where well, they do, but they don't really actively push it to users. So again, these applications tend to be um, a lot more sort of static because they are text editors with better features. Um, and of course, uh, that's something to note. But at the same time, a fantastic like-for-like -like alternative to Obsidian. Next up is Capacities. Now, if you want something slightly different, Capacities might be a good option for you. It structures itself slightly different to Obsidian. So when you go into Obsidian, you just start making notes in your vault. Whereas inside of Capacities, you have to create an object each time you create a note. Now, this might seem tedious, but actually will save you time in the long term. What that is designed to do is create the concept of something before you start, like a template. So for example, say I'm meeting Bob next week and I have a meeting with him, I have a book that he recommends and I, I am seeing him, then I can create a person, a meeting and a book. And that way they can be linked together and it almost creates this real life structure to your notes, which for some people is a game changer in how they organize their notes and give them a little bit of clarity. So a lot of people like that, but primarily it's got some great features that mimic Obsidian, like the writing abilities, but you can also use daily notes in there with a calendar view. And there's an AI chat feature in premium, which allows you to chat with context to each of your notes, which is incredibly effective. If you've taken some journal entries and you wanna be able to dig deeper into why you're feeling like that, it can help you do that, which is really nice. So I think Capacities is, it looks fantastic. It looks better than Obsidian in my opinion. And uh, it looks like Notion, and it also provides a lot of good functionality. Also has offline support as well, and loads of Obsidian-like features that I think you'll know and love already. So number three on my list is Reflect Notes, and I think this one is a really nice one if you're looking for something paid on iOS and Mac. Well, some people obviously don't want to go looking for paid apps, but this is $10 per user per month. There's no free plan, and it allows you to take notes with security in mind. So it has protected uh, end to end encrypted notes, and it also does uh, being able to capture through uh, Kindle and Readwise really well. Probably better than some of the other apps I've seen in this list uh, easily, but it allows you to integrate those apps. So if you're a big reader and you wanna be able to use AI to summarize your notes or bring together notes that are around your book, 
you'll really like this. It also has some tagging abilities, which people like in capacities, sort of like that object-based note-taking type style. And it has a beautiful application. It's really fast. You can connect your calendar to take meeting notes. You can actually add tasks to it as well. But most importantly, I think the note detail is really, really good. The editor allows you to select items and just be able to use AI to help refine that. And I just think overall, Reflect is a, a really strong application if you're looking for something of a higher or premium option out there. So today's video is sponsored by Sansama. Sansama is a powerful, mindful task management software, and it's really popular for those who want to stand back and plan their day more effectively. There's guided planning, reflection upon each of the days that you complete, and great systems in place to help you focus, but also make sure you're not stuffing your calendar and task management with lots and lots of tasks. So check out Sansama below, and thanks for those ties for sponsoring today's video. So my next option is one called Tana. Tana or Tana, I'm not sure. Again, like Logsy, it's a bit of a different name, but the application is AI first. It's very AI centric. And what I mean by that is it's not just got AI thrown into the application. It has these workflow types. So they have something in Tana called super tags, which help to organize your note for you. So essentially, if you're adding a note, it'll help to tag it and organize it, which is a really helpful feature. But super tags, can be also helpful when taking voice notes. So if you use the AI voice note feature, you can ramble away and it'll help use super tags to organize where that goes and it helps to bring it together. They also have an AI meeting note taker, which allows you to record your meeting uh, notes and bring them straight into Tana. Uh, we did a video on some of the best AI note takers on the market if you're still looking at those options. Tana isn't a dedicated one, but at the same time has it as part of its features. But AI is very much wanting to be part of the workflows inside of Tana. Now, Tana looks like Obsidian and it functions like Obsidian, but it has more team-based features, um, greater, um, I guess, abilities when you're trying to use it for personal productivity as a system. So a lot of people use this as their task management system, their note-taking system, and their journal system. So it's that holistic approach that Tana go for with AI driven underneath. Now the application is free to use. I believe when unlimited notes, actually no, it's 20,000 notes. And then there's a $8 per month uh, pricing that unlocks everything and a larger $14 pricing per month for those who want to go a step further with the AI features. So my final recommendation, and then I'm just going to throw out some notable alternatives for you, um, is Cortex. This one is a relatively new one. It's designed for creators and writers. And the idea of the app is to infuse AI into your notes. So it has something called KAI, which allows you to chat with each of your notes uh, like a conversation. The benefit with this is that you can use uh, and change the model that you want to use. You can change from Gemini to Claude uh, all the way over to uh, Llama, which is Facebook's one. But in the premium, you can actually narrow that down further. So it's sort of like a nice way to switch between different AI models and use them in a practical nature. So if you're looking for an AI focused second brain, this could be an option for you. The only limitations right now is it's available on Mac Windows. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on web, but it doesn't have an iOS and Android app, which is a bit of a pain. They're in their beta phase, so still early days. And uh, we did a full video on this if you're interested in exploring a little bit further. So some notable mentions on the market. There are some quite interesting options and I'll just pull up tool finder here just to give you an idea. So I'd say note plan is a good tool if you want to combine calendar, tasks and notes. It is available on iOS and Mac. Uh, I believe they have a web version as well, but it's just clean, simple uh, and it's great if you like Markdown and you want to be able to create that system around your notes. If you're a student and you want something very student orientated with better flashcards, good PDF upload, and just a overall better experience for students, then Remnote is the tool to go for. If you're looking for something that is more of a GTD dream, something that help you plan your productivity, to-do notes and uh, calendar, a bit like Noteplan, but available on more devices, and I think, in my opinion, better in terms of how they do it, in terms of actually plotting and planning what you need to do, then Ample Note is another good alternative. It's not as attractive as other apps on this list, but at the same time, it'll help get the job done. And if you looked at capacities, but you really wanted more focus on encryption, peer-to-peer um, -peer networking, uh, and just that general focus on local first builds and a good solid application, any type is a really interesting one to look at. It's privacy focused and many people will like it because it has that balance between PKM and uh, being able to take your notes with objects, which is really nice. It has some more detailed database features as well, which are sort of underrated, but they're still building in 
and well, they have good reviews, but they're still building it and developing these at the same time. So hopefully that was interesting. All of the apps that I mentioned in this video will be linked below if you're interested. Again, you can use Tool Finder in the note taking category with loads of tools. So I think you can narrow down your search even further and you can get the guide to the best free uh, note taking applications to get a better understanding of which one to pick for you. And I think that's all guys. I hope you find this resource useful for Obsidian Alternatives and I'll think I'll see you in a future video, I'm sure. So do subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.